Greetings, logicians. This is Patrick from Disenthrall. I am honored to be guest hosting some of these fallacy videos. Today we have the just in case fallacy, also known as the worst case scenario fallacy. This is when you make an argument based on the worst case scenario rather than the most probable scenario, allowing fear to prevail over reason. Its logical form would be, it would be a good idea to accept claim X since it is possible for event Y. For example, Mari, you should really wear a helmet when playing chess. You can easily get excited, fall off your chair, and crack your head open. Well, every decision you make has both costs and benefits. Fallacious arguments like the one I just made will attempt to get you to make a decision out of fear rather than reason, thus increasing the perceived cost of choosing not to wear a helmet. Of course, the cost of wearing a helmet while playing chess is pure ridicule of historic proportions. Another example. If hell is real, then you would be wise to accept Christianity as true. Well, the attempt is to get you to make a decision out of fear rather than reason, thus increasing the perceived cost of not accepting Christianity as true. There are many Christians who reject the idea of hell and eternal torment by a perfectly loving God. Plus, there are over a billion people who subscribe to the religion that believes worshipping anyone besides Allah will buy you a one-way ticket into the fiery pits of hell. Through reason, you can evaluate these choices and make a decision on reason, not on fear. An exception might be, when you can come to a reasonable conclusion that preparing for the worst-case scenario is the most economically sound course of action, as in cost-benefit, not necessarily financial, then the fallacy is not committed. Buying insurance or a warranty is not always a good idea. Mitigating risks comes with costs that are often not obvious. Thanks for watching, and if you want more content from me, check out disenthrall.me.